The Story of the Little Piggy Who Couldn't Say No Translated by Connie Stradling Morby Written by Sabine Ludwig and Sabine Wilhelm The day is lovely with bright sun. A swim thinks Piggy would be fun. With swim tube, ball, her book, and hat, and beach towel, must remember that. She takes a tasty snack and drink, gives Mama goodbye wave and wink, but Mama wants a kiss goodbye. The bus has left. She breathes a sigh. But walking's healthy too, she knows, so no complaining, off she goes. Here comes a dog, he's really quick. That tube, I want it now, no trick. No piggy thinks it's, it costs a lot. To her, this seems to be a plot. Think it'll pop? That's all that matters. His laughter stops. The tube's in tatters. Without her swim tube, on she goes, but kitty cat waves at her nose. Stop, wait, I need to go to town to buy some worms, but folks will frown at me like this. Lend me your hat, cause you don't look so good in that. But I need holes to fit my ears. Thwack, thwack, is what the piggy hears. The pig plods on, her head is bare. She cheers up in the nice fresh air. Give us your ball, she hears the scream of rabbits from the soccer team. They shoot and dribble, they attack. If I could just get that ball back, she sighed. She'd get it if she could. The ball flies high, it's gone for good. The sunshine burns, the path is long, but pig's not anxious, she stays strong. She hears the call of the beach and sea and crying too, who could that be? The croc sheds every tear she's got and yammers, I don't need a lot, your glasses, please give them to me. Pig squints, eyes burn, it's hard to see. Hey piggy, heading through the wood, another cookie would be good. My bag's empty, I want more. Do you have one or three or four? The badger takes the cookie sack. Wow, these are great. He holds it back. He smacks his lips, eats all she had. No more left? So what? Too bad. Well, thinks Pig, I smell the sea, but bears an, as noisy as can be. Help, help, he cries loudly. I'm stuck in this bog. The honey was yummy, but in a weak log. Take your towel, give me a hand. Pull hard and get me on dry land. You shall soon be out, so hold on tight. The piggy pulls with all her might. The bear is fat and heavy too. She pulls and pulls. He's stuck in goo, but rip the towel. It tears apart. Yikes, yells the bear with quite a start. But worse for pig, with splash and whomp, she plops right into the swamp. The others laugh, have no regret at seeing pig get soaking wet. This is just too much. The pig screams, no! The rest, they look quite sheepish though. Full of cheer, I left today to swim, but things are not okay. I'm in this mud, I'm really stuck. Stop laughing at my rotten luck. I helped you all now, don't you see? Please grab a hold and pull on me. Hey, shouts the bear, don't run away. I've been stuck in this all day. Bear grabs the pig and won't let go. It's too much for the others, though. They topple, tumble, fall, and kick over stone and root and stick. Into the mud, head over heels. The gunk goes splat. The piggy squeals. This mud bath is the best, you know. Let's get messy, head to toe. They romp and splish and splash away till no mud's left in which to play. The sun goes down, dark is the land. The moon shines on the little band. They start to yawn, a tummy growls. I need to eat, the big bear howls. A mouse would please the cat a lot. Let's go home, so off they trot. Good night, little pig, till tomorrow at 10, then all of us will go swimming again. I'll bring us a swim ring and I'll have a hat. Bake cookies, the badger's really good at that. So those are the things her friends suggest, but Piggy is tired. She just wants to rest. Her mother asks, have fun, my sweet. Your dinner is ready. Come in and eat. Eat.